multiplies the potential impacts from the cold. It can affect your utility bill and also pose a threat to your health. Our Bill Folsom with a closer look into the basics of protecting yourself. Wind whipping while temperatures are well below freezing. There's quite a bit of wind and that wind can affect your heating bill and your comfort uh, on your homes. Efficiency specialists with Colorado Springs Utilities track how weather impacts energy needs. We do see higher natural gas demand with the combination of cold weather and wind together. Um, so it increases how hard your furnace has to work or your heat pump if you have one of those um, to, keep your, to keep your home warm. Wind is like forced air and if you have gaps around windows and doors, it pushes through. There's a number of low cost things you can do to help reduce your bill, increase your comfort in your home. Short term, inexpensive weather stripping can slow the cold air. Even a rolled towel in front of a door helps. Closing drapes at night slows airflow. Opening them during the day to let the sun in adds some heat. Better windows and insulation are more expensive and also the preferred solutions. This year, Colorado Springs Utilities increased rebates for insulation by up to $750. We have additional funding this year uh, through uh, some things that the state has, has asked us to do through our clean heat plan, which is designed to uh, reduce natural gas use in the state. We talk about the dangerous cold. We're, we're concerned about areas of the body that are exposed, right? Your body also needs some extra insulation when the weather team is talking about wind chill factors. When the wind chills are dangerously low, especially when they're down below zero, negative 10, negative 20, uh, frostbite can settle in. Hypothermia can happen really quickly. In days ahead, wind chills below zero are possible. And that's when it can become dangerous. Whether you're home or yourself, the best defense against the cold is some insulation and lots of layers. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.